Hi guys, it's the Basic Gamer, and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. So we are here to take down Melania using our Dragon Maw, or Dragon Chameleon Incantation, which is called the Dragon Maw. Uh, attributes required, well, 24 points in Faith and 16 points in Arcane. And you need one Dragon Heart, and you can purchase it either from the Church of Dragon Chameleon over here, which you'll have to come through the coastal cave, defeat the boss, and take the tunnels at the end. And then you come out over here, make your way up, and use that dragon heart to purchase this incantation. You need one. The first dragon you face is the flying dragon Nagil over here. So if you put him out, this is the fast way of getting it. And we are using the Dragon Convenient Seal Upgrade plus 10. Um, attribute scaling is S in Arcane and B in Faith. And if you check the right side of the screen and the character status, well, Faith and Arcane is where we, our points are, and also Bigger Mind and Endurance. Kina Mask is for fashion, but the Beast Champion Armor will give us some poise and damage negation. So is the Crucible Knot Talisman, it will reduce some of the damage. Phlox and Faithful's Canvas Talismans, well, they stack together and they raise the potencies of our incantations. Which will sort Talisman, yep, we'll try to keep our HP at max so that we have more attack power. And in the flask, one is physics. We've got the Holy Shrine and Crack Tear, Faith Knock Crystal Tear, Mr. Mimic Upgrade plus 10, and an upstream flask so that we don't run out. And we're using Godric's Great Rune as well. And the Golden Wow. Flame Grant Me Strength. And let's get cracking. And thanks to Mr. Jonas Beaning on YouTube, he actually asked me to make a Dragon Cominion build. And while I was in the process of making the build, I came across the Dragon Maw, and I'm like, okay, we gotta show this first. We gotta check this out and show everyone. Look at that, look at that. Melania already is, you gotta be a bit strategic, but it does the job really well, guys. Really, really well. Look at that, Mimic is also in action. I love it when Mimic does it what he's supposed to do because it makes your job so much easier and there we go there we go okay so don't get hit over here because it's gonna be bye bye ta ta okay so wait for it and let's do it so what do you think guys what do you think like I said, you gotta be a bit strategic because the lady can be ferocious and she can take you out in a second. But if you do this properly, look at that. You can even take her out of the sky. Just watch out for this one. You don't wanna, you don't wanna get Scarlet Rot inflicted or get... Okay, let's get out of here. This is our chance to finish her off I think Mr. Mimic knows that too there we go oh there we go so Mimic was well Mimic did well so this was like attempt number five or six so I'm not saying you're gonna get her in the first go but you saw what this is all about and we have destroyed the beast it the beast was actually easier um, I'll share the link to that video in the description below as well you can check it out but hey this is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy and thanks to Mr. Jonas Weenick because if he hadn't asked me to check out and make a Dragon Communion build I would have never known about this. So I will be working on the Dragon Communion build and see how I go with it but so far we are doing Dragon Maw and we have mawed the Beast and Melania and now it's going to be Dragon Lob Seed Sacks next. We'll see how we go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please don't forget to like and subscribe, and also have the notifications button on. If you have any suggestions on bills, or you have suggestions on how to make this better, please do let me know, and I shall get to work on it, and you shall see a video, and also get a shout out as well, if I can, you know, if it's feasible and viable. But yeah, this is it for this one. Until next time, happy gaming, take care, and bye-bye.